Do you ever blame bad shots on the fact that you weren't swinging straight down the target line? Or do you ever try to fix your swing by keeping your head down or still for longer? If so, make sure you check out this video, it's definitely for you. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is actually all gonna be about those two points I mentioned in the intro. So if you are a player where you're trying to swing straight down the target line, or you're ever coming up with a fix of, I hit that bad shot because my head was moving, I don't know where I was looking, and I try and fix it by keeping your head still for longer, this video is very relevant for you. So I get a lot of golfers trying to swing down the target line for longer. Let me just grab a golf club and show you what that would look like. So they're trying to force into impact and post impact that club swinging more down the target line. So the club swinging this way into a vertical position. Well, the only way I can achieve that is no real body rotation and very much hands and arms disconnecting away from the body. And I'm sure, although that's an exaggerated version, that's not gonna look very powerful to you. Now, if you're also blaming bad shots on looking up too early and you're focusing on trying to keep your head down, again, by trying to keep your head down, it stops your body rotating. So what do we end up seeing on the way through? Very much hands and arms trying to work almost down the target line vertical. The club is actually only swinging down the target line for such a minute fraction that we are definitely swinging on an arc. The only way we'd of course achieve any pendulum action isn't even in putting. It would be a croquet movement with the ball between your feet. That club is definitely arcing around our body. And we want our arms, in my opinion, connected to what our body is doing. Now I'm not saying there isn't extra speed being created from hands and arms but that is mainly wrist cock and the forearm rotation is happening in conjunction with my body turning. What I know, don't wanna see is the throw away where the hands and arms are working independently from the body. And that's what I see a lot of when I get golfers. I've met golfers, you know, still playing off 18, 20, and they feel like they're, or their swing thought when I ask them is they're trying to swing down the target line or they blame bad shots. And oh, I looked up early, I was really eager for that one. And they really focus on trying to keep their head down. And we just see a lack of body rotation as if the club's trying to move down the target line. It doesn't matter what club I demonstrate this with. This is a fantastic drill for you. So what you're gonna get is just a, a long golf towel. I've just got a bit of TheraBand here. Anything long enough to put across your chest under your arms. That could just be two separate objects like two golf gloves. And now what I'm asking you to do is from golf posture, just make a golf swing where you keep this connected. It's not tight and tense, but I'm not gonna allow the TheraBand or the towel to drop and tell me how long your club is actually moving straight for in the backswing, in the downswing, in the through swing. That club, if I just do it in this bit here, is working on an arc. The club is traveling to the right, to the right, to the right, straight to the left, to the left, to the left. It is only down our target line for a very small second, okay? Even for those players who are incredibly strong with more of a closed club face, like a Dustin Johnson, who have less release here, that club is still only moving down the target line for such a short fraction of a second. It is working on an arc. So what you'll see here, if I make some slow back swings, is my lead arm, my left arm, is staying nice and straight. My trail elbow is actually having to bend and flex downwards as it should. On the way down, we reach our arm extension, just post impact, now it is my uh, lead arm here, so my left arm starting to fold. And that's happening because I am working around my body. I am coiling correctly. It is not simply just a turn because we are doing it on a tilt. So it is more of a coiled movement here in our backswing, in our downswing and our through swing. And if my, he if my chest is rotating correctly, you will find that your head is starting to be pulled through towards the target. I'm not suggesting you're not looking at the golf ball as you hit it, 
but the reality is they're over so quickly you won't really know where you're focusing and there are plenty of fantastic golfers out there who aren't looking at the golf ball as they hit it is not the most important thing so as i work on this arced swing path my head is starting to rotate with my body and it feels like my arms are very much connected to my body swing so even just doing some small movements with something across your chest allowing that club to arc and stop thinking about trying to swing down the target line that does not happen it'll be very destructive if you do try and get it with your arms working out away from your body if you are a player who's trying to fix this with your head staying still again stop it it will not happen your head has to rotate where i'd hit shots doing that i'm going to jump into a mid iron i'm going to even do it off a small tee with that tubing across my chest it's a great driving range exercise i would just get you to make some little half swings really feeling like your chest is controlling the movement the club is working on an arc and therefore your head is rotating towards the target to follow the flight of the ball watch the ball would be a much better thought than head down so i'm just going to make a little half swing clipping it off the tee and that very much felt connected and controlled my, my body movement by the big muscles, not my hands and arms. I was definitely not trying to focus on that club going down the target line, and you'll have seen that club working on an arc. So if you are a player where you are focusing on trying to swing down the target line, as I said, stop. If you're trying to fix any faults by keeping your head down, stop. They do not help you. We will swing on an arc. We should swing on an arc. The club is only down the target line for a split really split second even will with the words world's elite i'll get my words out here it will not be swinging down the target line i know that video i know that exercise is going to help you if you are a player where you answered yes to the questions i answered asked at the start this video is definitely for you make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and do subscribe to the channel as well it's the best way to show your support and never miss a video again it's for free cheers guys we'll see you soon